Welcome to the Vote with a Bullet tutorial. Let's start off with tuning. This tuning is drop C and it, it comes across as being a roughly about a quarter step sharp. So before I get into the riff tutorial section of this, I'll have an open string tuning that will allow you to easily get to the tuning on this. Um, one of the things that I, I've noticed over the years on this song is I had learned some of the riffs on this roughly when the song came out and to this day it's still a very fun song to play. The problem being with the song is the tuning because I found that I was never in it. I never wanted to go to it. It was just a pain in the butt and uh, so I just didn't play the song as much. So that's kind of the issue with this song is you probably won't play it as much as you should because it's pretty fun, but just getting a guitar to the tuning isn't the funnest part. So hopefully uh, you've got a, uh, a set in bridge, something that's not going to float on you, and uh, tuning back and forth in and out of this song will be pretty easy for you. Uh, what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to play the riffs at 75% speed, then 100% speed. If the riff's already been played or demonstrated a little earlier because they repeat a lot in their songs, I'll, I'll just mention it and uh, I, I won't demonstrate it a second time. So let's take a look at uh, these riffs and I'll discuss anything that kind of stands out that should be narrated before I get into the actual demonstration. The, the, the intro riff, maybe it'll be easier for you than it was for me, is I, for the longest time, just couldn't figure out where to come in. I'm like, you know, this is simple. It's uh, open and then it's third fret and it's muted, but I'm just all over the place. Well, it turns out they actually count. So as you'll see on the on the, uh, the tab, there will be uh, some notes on there where uh, you'll see like the third fret is being fingered and then I'll say uh, two count. So just count to two and then hit the third one. So, uh, you know, for me, it was a challenge to figure out the count, as simple as it was, but uh, that kind of solved all the uh, all the challenges of the song is when she learned it was counting. Yeah. Also, what kind of made the, the, the counts tough in the beginning is you could hear a lot, you could uh, work it off the hi-hat. So you'll notice in the beginning, the first couple times uh, they, they repeat some of these riffs, the hi-hat will come through clear and it'll be a great count for you. But then the drummer starts doing some fills and the count's all gone. I mean, the count's there, but you can't just figure it out from the hi-hat. So it's roughly uh, gonna be a count of two and then a count of three kind of in between the riffs. Uh, move, looking through the rest of these riffs, they're pretty much, they're pretty straightforward. I'll still demonstrate them. And if you look at the last riff that starts at uh, the 49 seconds, there's just a little vibrato of the third fret on the E string at the end of it. And when I say E string, obviously I'm, I'm referring to the drop C.
I'm going to be showing sheets two and three back to back and again playing these at roughly 75% speed and full speed and where the riffs duplicate which you'll notice that they, they start doing on these sheets uh, I'll only play the riffs once So sheets four, five, and six basically have duplicate riffs, so my job just got easier. I don't have to demonstrate those, except for one riff, and it's become my favorite riff out of the song. Now maybe it's because the song's seasoned and the intro riffs I've gotten used to, but the riff starting at two minutes and 52 seconds is currently my favorite, and it's just, it's just a really enjoyable riff to play. There is a problem for me on this riff, and there's uh, a triplet muted alternate, well, alternate picking triplet muted on the top two strings. And, there, and this is a, a challenge for me because the tuning is so low that there's not a lot of tension on the strings. So I find that the muscle memory of string tension just isn't there for me in this song. So. I'm curious if you will find it a bit challenging doing that triplet too just because the strings are so loose. <laughs> 